All the nice big boats are out here. <clears throat> These guys are traveling through the international waterways. This is the locks right up here. Pretty much back here, this is all landlocked for tidal. But as soon as they open up the locks right here, they let all these big boats get through here. Hopefully they'll get launched and get on their way before we get the boat in the water. So we don't have to deal with their wake. All right, we in the water. Here's something you don't see every day. That sucks. I think it looks like it's been here for a while. I haven't noticed it. That's where I shoot all my reveal videos, so I'm pretty sure that somebody must have found this thing in the water, and they probably just towed it over here and tied it up to the dock. That'll make for a shit. Let's go catch some damn striper. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tens. As you can see, I'm in Poseidon. This is the first time that I'm gonna do a solo mission with Poseidon in my local river. Striper season ends on the 15th, so I've got five days. I have not caught a summer, spring striper yet, so I'm hoping that today is the day. Now, I did wanna take this boat in particular out because I haven't really had a lot of time to play around with the new Garmin trolling motor that I got. Plus, it's actually Saturday the 10th, it's a Harbor Fest. That's like a local festival they have down in Harbor Park, right at Waterside on the waterfront. Tonight, they're having some fireworks. I'm gonna take the wife and kids out there later on at sundown. Just wanted to take this boat out. I haven't used it in about a month or so. I wanna make sure that everything's running the way it should be and everything's gonna be perfect for our little trip tonight to go watch the fireworks. I'm gonna run on over to a couple of spots I think might be good. We'll pick up there. All right, guys, geez been a morning uh, I got stopped by the cops on the way out here just routine check because they got a big festival going on downtown and as soon as I left them I forgot that I turned my camera off so I came up to this next spot and I hooked up on a monster uh, fought him for a couple of minutes and he ended up peeling drag I was worried I was gonna set my drag too tight and he was gonna break me off and uh, he tied me up around something on the bottom but I mean he was pulling drag just peeling it off my other line but I'm gonna roll back through. This one has 20 pound braid, the other one only had 15. Had to be a big red or some type of striper or something, but gosh, man, it really sucks I didn't get that. I got him right here, just jigging right along the bottom, about 30 feet of water. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh, he got off. That was a good one too. Fish on. Finally. Finally got me a fish on. It's a good one too. Oh, it's a real good one, baby. He does not want to come up. Holy cow. Oh my God. This thing is a monster. It's coming up. Oh, he's coming up. Please be a big old striper. Oh, big red drum. Pretty fish. 
crayfish. Look at the size of this one, man. That is a good fish. Size of this monster. Good fish. Looks like maybe right there might be a school of them. It's about where I caught that last one. I'm gonna cruise right through there, drag the bottoms, jigging them. That's a monster fish to catch on this little 6'6 medium light action rod. Oh, I got another one. Oh my god, I'm about to rip the pole out of my hand. He's swimming right at me or something. He's right out next to the boat. Holy crap. Another giant one. Nice fish, another nice red, guys. He might actually be in the keeper slot. A nice fish. I'm pretty sure he is in the keeper slot. Should have brought a tracker. I'm gonna get this thing filthy. My wife's gonna be all mad. The boat smells like fish. There he is. Another big drum. Oh yeah, good one. Turn this boat around. Just trying to run down by that pylon. We gotta pull him off that pylon. No! I knew that was gonna happen. Got me. Fish on. Oh yeah. Another good one. Another good one. Come on, baby. We got him out of here in the middle, too. I don't think he's going to be able to get us wrapped up around the pylons. A lot of fight in him, though. Woo! Peeling some drag off there. I got it set pretty tight, too. Come on. Another good drum. Just taking one last run. Gosh. Look at the 
size of that fish, boy. Nice one. We're gonna get him back in the water and we'll start fishing again. All right, we're back. I did just catch a striper and uh, my SD card ran out of space. So I didn't record it. But I realized it after I stopped to take some pictures. So we're back online. It was a nice striper though. It's probably gonna be my last and only striper of the summer season because the season ends in like five days. Maybe not. I know exactly how I caught it, where I caught it. So we're going back in. We're gonna go try to catch it again. So we can catch another one. That one's in a live well. What a day, man. No dinks today, baby, no dinks. There he is. Oh yeah, another big boy. He is all up underneath the boat. Fun. Oh, he was a keeper size too. He was a little guy. That sucks. I wanted to get him in the boat. I'm about to run into the pylons. The current is ripping through here today, man. Sorry, right, we we'll go back and catch him again. Four fish that I lost today. That was my fault though. I thought he was bigger than that. He was already up on top of the water. I was looking at the damn pylon over here and wasn't paying attention. Just pulled the hook right out of his mouth. There was a school of them over here though, so. Maybe it's a school of some of the smaller ones that are in the keeper size. All right, took a break, ate some lunch. Now I'm ready to catch the fish. Troll motor battery's getting low, so we're not gonna be able to stay out here too much longer. He might be a little bit smaller. It might be a keeper size. Oh uh, well, who knows? It's fighting pretty good. What are you, buddy? Oh, don't go under the boat. <laughs> He's right there. Oh, it's a big red. Oh, monster red. Beautiful fish. Golden. Spots, whoo, pretty fish. Oh, wow. What a beautiful fish, man. Super pretty fish. Look at the size of that one, good fish. Nice fish. Pretty. It's definitely over 26, so he's gonna have to go back. It's a nice fish, though. See ya. All right, guys, I hate to end that video like that, but the truth is, I ran out of batteries. I didn't have any more batteries. 
it was hot out there, but those fish were biting, man. I think all in all, I caught a total of eight overslot fish that actually landed. And then I caught one keeper drum and one keeper striper. And I lost three that were definitely overslot. They were probably the biggest three I had. They broke me off, but it was an awesome day. It was a lot of fun and the boat worked out great. I got a lot of time put in with the new trolling motor and I'm starting to dial in how the live scope's working. The thing is sick. I'm gonna show you guys these two fish that I did bring home and I gotta get back to work. Oh yeah, twins. This uh, striper was about 23, 24 and this drum was right at 25 inches, but they were both super fun to catch. I'm gonna get these things filleted so I can get these in the freezer. Then I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna get back to work. I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this type of fish. If you do this type of fishing, what's your personal best striper, redfish? I'd like to hear from you guys. I'll see y'all next time.